we got the short one right here from the pump to the filter and this long one's from the filter straight to the uh carburetor so at least this is going to be all the way out the way <laughs> and you know it's also better that. huh Putting in, drilling the holes for the switches for the fog lights. Found a good spot. There was a switch here previously. I'm just using the old bolt holes as an extender. Let's see if this got it just right. Yep, I'll do it. It's been there. Yeah, I'll do it. Just put some glue in the back of it to hold it in. It should be good. All right, quick tour in here. So I'm running. Have to run four wires from under the little hole in there, hole in the wall, firewall there. And what that's going to go is going to come through here. It's going to be two switches right there. One's going to be the fogs, and one's going to be the amber for the fogs. And it's just one switch right here. And the other one is right here. But they all share the same loom, so it's just a matter of hooking them up and it works. All right, we got five quarts of oil, well, four and a half quarts of oil in the pan. We got half a quart into the pump, I mean, the oil filter. So now, prime. I'm gonna attempt to prime the oil pump. So we got the like, specialized tool right here. Just kind of clockwise, just bring it in there. And see what happens. Turn your drill on there, you're gonna fire it. No, but it's just a, you get the spark because you got brushes on the thing. Oh yeah, over my hand, all over the car. Right. Do it again. You should start it. Did last time. Come on. You don't have enough gas down in there. Try it again. So yeah, the timing's just off. That's why it's having a hard time starting. But if once you get the timing dialed in, it'll just fire right up. Huh? Now it's, it's 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 ready. It's primed. It's ready, dude. <sighs> fire in the hole. Oh, your starter. Your no. Battery. Your battery. Now try it again. Try again. There it is. Come on. Come on, baby. A little more gas, I think. So close. Come on, you son of a bitch. Uh, uh. Come on, come on. That's the fuck I'm talking about right there. Dude, that was badass. <laughs> all right, so I got the loom all figured out right here. This is hit the black and red to the battery. And the loom under here. Crank trigger and coil wires going to loom here. Here's the tack wire. I'm gonna run through the dash right now. It's over there in the hole. This is the ignition red. I need to find a home for this guy because for whatever reason, this wire, the original coil wire, doesn't want to provide voltage anymore. So I gotta figure out what happened with that. And uh, it should be good. At least one of them actually being modified. Marvelous.
Hey, if there's any pressure on the rails, does that fuel gauge have any pressure on it? E yeah, well, no. But it's it's under pressure and it's under vacuum. So if it's not if under if, pressure, if it's not running, we can't really tell. You have to start it up for, for me to ready. Call. Go ahead. <laughs> Timing's too much, you think? It might be a little too advanced. Uh, <laughs> oh, my oh, God, this door works so much now. Was there any flame on that one? No, no, gas no. Thing just flying out the hose. Yeah. But again, this is not as sophisticated as you see. It's sophisticated. It's not a word I would describe as it. <laughs> or its owner. More balls than brains. There's America. Pretty good.